Welcome to the Curious Culture Club, where we delve into the unexplored corners of history. Today, we journey into the forbidden pages of the Gospel of Peter. In the annals of early Christianity, few documents inspire as much intrigue as the Gospel of Peter. This enigmatic text, shrouded in mystery, offers a unique and controversial perspective on the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yet unlike the four canonical Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the Gospel of Peter was excluded from the official biblical canon. The reasons for this exclusion are as fascinating as they are complex. The authorship of the Gospel of Peter remains an unsolved puzzle. While the text itself claims to be the work of Peter, one of Jesus' twelve apostles, most scholars believe it was written by an unknown author, perhaps a century or more after Peter's death. But who this author was, why they chose to write in Peter's name, and what their motivations were are questions that continue to fuel scholarly debate. The content of the Gospel of Peter is equally intriguing. It contains unique stories and teachings, some of which diverge significantly from the familiar accounts in the canonical Gospels. For example, it provides a different perspective on Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, adding details not found in other Gospels. These variations have sparked countless discussions and controversies, raising questions about the nature of truth and the interpretation of religious texts. But perhaps the most compelling aspect of the Gospel of Peter is its status as a forbidden text. Despite its exclusion from the biblical canon, the Gospel survived, preserved in ancient manuscripts and passed down through generations. Today it stands as a testament to the diversity of early Christian beliefs and practices. The Gospel of Peter, shrouded in mystery, opens a window into the diverse beliefs and practices of early Christianity. Join us as we continue our exploration into this extraordinary text, unearthing hidden truths and challenging established narratives. The Gospel of Peter was not always lost to history. Its discovery in the 19th century ignited a firestorm of debate among scholars. The year was 1886 when this enigmatic piece of antiquity emerged from the sands of Egypt, specifically in the town of Akmim. The text was found in an unlikely place, a place of eternal rest, a monk's grave. This unusual discovery only added to the mystique of the gospel, painting a picture of hidden knowledge and forbidden truths. The Gospel of Peter, carefully preserved within the confines of the grave, was a revelation that shook the foundations of biblical scholarship. The historical context of the Gospel's discovery is as intriguing as the text itself. The late 19th century was a time of archaeological revolution, with Egypt being a fertile ground for such explorations. Imagine the astonishment of unearthing a text that might reshape our understanding of early Christianity. Once the gospel was brought to light, it sparked spirited debates among scholars. Questions about its authenticity and reliability were hotly contested. Some scholars argued that the gospel of Peter was a forgery, a cleverly crafted piece of fiction designed to deceive. Others proposed that it was a genuine piece of early Christian literature, providing a unique lens into the beliefs and practices of our distant ancestors. Another bone of contention was the date of the gospel's composition. Some suggested it was written in the late first century, while others argued for a date in the second century. This divergence in views reflects the complexity and ambiguity of the gospel's origins. What's certain, however, is that the gospel of Peter presents a unique narrative of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, diverging from the four canonical gospels in several ways. These differences, in turn, fueled further debates about the gospel's place in the Christian tradition. Despite the controversies, the Gospel of Peter continues to intrigue scholars and lay people alike. Its unique perspective on early Christian beliefs, its mysterious origins, and its controversial content make it a fascinating piece of history that continues to challenge our understanding of the past. The Gospel of Peter may not be in the Bible, but its influence on contemporary Christian thought cannot be understated. Despite its exclusion from the biblical canon, this text has left an indelible mark on theological discourse, prompting us to revisit and reevaluate our understanding of early Christian beliefs and practices. The Gospel of Peter presents a unique lens through which we can view the nascent years of Christianity. Its distinctive accounts of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection challenge traditional narratives, 
and invite us to question established beliefs. While these divergent narratives may seem controversial, they provide an invaluable insight into the diverse theological perspectives that existed within the early Christian community. In its divergence from the canonical Gospels, the Gospel of Peter offers an alternative theological perspective. It encourages individuals to explore beyond the familiar confines of the Bible, inviting them to engage with a broader spectrum of Christian thought. This engagement can lead to a deeper understanding and appreciation of the rich tapestry that constitutes Christian theology. Moreover, the Gospel of Peter's influence extends beyond academic circles. Its teachings have found resonance among contemporary Christian communities, inspiring fresh interpretations of biblical stories and stimulating theological debates. The Gospel provides a platform for dialogue, fostering a culture of inquiry and introspection within the Christian community. In a broader sense, the Gospel of Peter challenges the infallibility of the biblical canon. It raises questions about the criteria used to determine the canonicity of texts and the authority of those who make such decisions. The Gospel's exclusion from the Bible prompts us to reflect on the power dynamics inherent in religious institutions and the implications of these dynamics for our understanding of religious texts. In the end, the Gospel of Peter reminds us of the rich and complex landscape of early Christianity, inviting us to explore beyond the familiar pages of the Bible.